Now, this is a slightly tricky question asked in 2021 and this is based on the divisibility test of 7. Of course, by applying the divisibility test, the problem becomes very, very uh, simple. So, what we have been told is that this 3, 7, 9, 8, this entire number is divisible by 7 and we have to find out the value of p which would allow this number to be divisible by 7. We already know that the number is divisible by 7. What is the divisibility test of 7? For that, we simply divide the number into two parts. Okay, We remove the last digit and then we write the rest of the number. We double the last digit and subtract it from the rest of the number. So 9 to the 18, I double this and I subtract it from the rest of the number. Now divisibility test of 7 says that because this number is divisible by 7, my this number which I get from subtraction after subtraction would also be divisible by 7. So this number is also divisible by 7. I again apply the divisibility test. I separate it into two parts and then I remove this 8 and I subtract it, the double of this which is 16. So what do I get? This 6 minus 11, okay. So I have to carry 1 from here. So this p would become p minus 1, okay. And this will become 11, 11 minus 6 is 5 and this p minus 1 uh, minus 1 would make this digit actually equal to p minus 2, okay. So this is p minus 2 is a single digit, the rest of the number will remain as is. I again apply the divisibility test and my object of applying the divisibility test again and again is to bring this digit p, the unknown digit to the last part to the lsb so that it becomes comes in the units place okay that is my object so what happens now i would again apply the divisibility test and i would say that if this number were to be divisible by 7 then my 1 to 5 and then last digit is p minus 2 okay and then the unit digit i have removed and i multiply by 2 uh, so that becomes a 10 and I subtract from here. So this becomes 3, 7, 9, 8, 1, 2, 4 and now more importantly the p minus 2 has come in the units place and now I will do my long division and try to find out the value of p minus 2 which would make this number divisible by 7. If this number were divisible by 7 so would be this number so would be this number and finally this number okay so now i do the long division long division for division by 7 is actually very very simple it's not complicated we are only interested in the remainders okay we don't have even have to worry about the questions so that would make our long division even simpler okay and i am dividing by what i am dividing by 7 okay so the first we'll just do the 35 okay so 7 5 the 35 so 35 would come here okay and then what will i have i'll get 29 here 7 4 are 28 so this will be 28 and then what will i get here 18 7 2 are 14 so 14 will come here what do i get this is 4 and then one would come from here one one is coming from here one okay then i do 7 5 are 35 and this is 2 7 5 is a 35 so this becomes a 6 and then 2 will come here okay 7 8 is a 56 and now again 6 will come and this is a 64 okay so like this is the last digit 64 and what happens 7 9 is a 63 and this would make this 1 and now finally our p minus 2 comes into picture now in order for this number to be divisible by 7 this 1 and in the last digit there is p minus 2 this has to be divisible by 7 right because if this number is divisible by 7 my this entire number is divisible by 7 which would make this number divisible by 7 now what is the number which is divisible by 7 and has 1 in the tens place there is only one such number and that is equal to 14 okay 
because seven threes are twenty one, so two comes here. It is not possible, and seven ones are seven, so zero comes uh, in the uh, tens place. So that is also not possible. Which means that my p minus two has to be equal to four. This essentially means that my p is equal to six. Okay, and that is the correct answer. So several choices were given in this question. and out of which 6 is the correct answer another method if you don't know all of this if you don't want to do all this is you can substitute each of the choices here in p and then try to see which choice makes the number divisible by 7 which of course which would make these uh, computations a little bit more um, complicated okay this method is simpler it takes less time especially if you are good with because no not big numbers are not involved so if you are good with computation then this question is should not be very difficult for you